Alright, hello everyone, hello. Let's have us a wonderful, nice, chill playthrough. Halberds only. During these first few sections, I'm going to go ahead and just explain all the rules. Uh, no partners, first and foremost. I can only use halberds. Parrying and backstabs is still fine. Because that's how I'm going to get my first halberd. Uh, and we're a delightful little old lady. Yep, come on. Uh, no ranged spells. That's also part of the rules. Buffs are fine. Um, and then we just gotta beat the game. Any ending. I'm probably gonna go for a good or true ending. You know what, we haven't done true ending in a while. Let's do that one. I'll try to remember that I want to grab true ending. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to remember. Um, but I, I anticipate this to be pretty, pretty simple. Our first objective is to go grab the Impaler. Well, I mean, the first objective is going to be grabbing a, um, halberd in the first area. There's a corridor of enemies, and a few of them have halberds. The rest we're just going to run past. Well, rather, if there's an enemy, I'm going to parry and kill them. If there's an enemy carrying a halberd, I should say. Uh, after we grab the Impaler, the next one will be the Obliterator Axe. And I think with those two weapons, we should be able just to clear the entire game. I've been putting off this weapon challenge for last, simply because somebody else had done it first. Now, I haven't seen their playthrough. But I assume it went pretty well. There was a Reddit post about it ages ago. I do not like how my blood veil is covering up my floral jacket. So we gotta fix that. But yeah, on the whole... This is, this is going to be a pretty simple challenge. I don't really anticipate any bosses giving me trouble. Well, I mean, Mito, of course. He always gives me trouble. But we'll have a plus four weapon by the time we get to the end of the Howling Pit. Alright, first things first. Alright, it's turned off. Blood Veil Transparency... Ficked. All right, outstanding. Yoink. Wrap up that. Now, this might be suicide. That's a heavy axe, by the way. I'm not interested in. This might be suicide, but I'm going to go for this. Nope, it's fine. Oliver's giving him the business. Yeah, so far, there's only... Broadsword and Bayonet dudes. Ah, oh, there goes a Halberd guy. Uh, <laughs> but there's too much going on, so we're just gonna... Oh dear. Oh jeez. Oh, oh no. Oliver, what the hell are you doing? What is he up to? We also passed by a bayonet. Which I'm not incredibly enthusiastic about. Not for this playthrough at least. Ow!
I think Oliver's about to die. But we survived. <laughs> he scared me! Oh jeez, I thought he was an enemy. Hey Oliver, glad to see you're alive. Yeah, we'll skip over the great sword. Do you have a halberd? You do. Nice work, Oliver. Ah, uh, nothing. All right, well, whatever. Where is he going? Get back to this cutscene and die. guy with a halberd, two guy with a halberd. Oh. It looks like there's just two guys with halberds. I could have sworn there was more. Oh well. We're just gonna have to get rid of this guy, otherwise we won't be able to use the checkpoint. <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you, game. Welp, well, let's get started on farming, I guess. We need at least a halberd to fight Oliver. Considering uh, ranged spells are off limits. Ow! We won't really have any way to defeat him. At least not without grabbing a weapon first, come on. I don't like the way this is going. Alright, I gotta thin the herd a little bit. There's so many of them. I'd like to get out of range of the bayonet dudes. Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to kill off these dudes. I was hoping to catch the guy in the back. There we go. Oh, they all just start swinging immediately. Well, on the bright side, we can get started with leveling up these gifts. I believe there is one more halberd dude down over by the fire. Yes, he does have a halberd, so there are three guys over here that can potentially give us what we need. Now, halberd dude can run, and the slimes, the best they, they can do is just kind of shuffle over to me. Yeah, that is a negative on all three of them. Alright, well, no big deal. I'll need this 100%. And I'll grab this too. And that'll be fine. Oh. 
that dude ruined it. I beg your pardon. Well, I'm gonna die now. Just run. It's probably the wrong decision. But... At least I'm out of range of the bayonet guys. Man, come on. Uh, let's get rid of this halberd guy before going after the other one so I don't have slimes chasing me the whole way. Alright, looking nice, looking nice. Nothing. This is kind of unavoidable. Ooh, too early. But I got that one. Didn't drop anything, though. Well, time to re-roll. Got just a little bit more to go for the Venom Mark. Yes, finally, we have a weapon. All right, outstanding. So we will rest here and equip weapon, and then go back and tidy up everything we missed. Yeah, okay, there. Uh, the rest of that's fine. Let's go ahead and polish off this dude for reasons. Now, the Lost Verdish was my favorite weapon in the uh, demo network test. Because that, the combo weak attack, is a thrust that will knock enemies down. Uh, there wasn't anything else I wanted on. Yeah, just weapon drain. Oh, it's so good. Oh, you think you're clever, huh? I think you are dead. Second Bardiche? What do you know? Alright. Um, okay. I guess we've got a poison and stun Bardiche now. The Lost Bardish was one of the few halberds you had access to. There was this one and then the Sunset Halberd. The Sunset Halberd's not great. It is one of my least favorite weapons. 
it's super common, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just it's not a good weapon. It's one of the double spin halberds. I'll I'll be sure to show you. Don't worry. But all of the uh, double spin halberds are kind of not great. The first weak attack of the chain is very slow. It does hit twice, which, if both hits connect, does have better stagger potential. However, you're just kind of screwed if you don't have enough time to get both hits out. So, yeah. Hey, and that's another gift mastered. Well, I'll go ahead and slap this on here. Hold it. Hang on. The weather was nice, so I had the window open. And, um... There's lots of fire truck. Lots and lots of fire truck. That I was not expecting this early in the morning. But I guess that's kind of the nature of emergencies. Very impressive. All right, let's rumble. Go ahead and slap that on there. Uh, might as well go ahead and add the other passives. Hello. All right, first things first, we'll party up with Lewis and then immediately dismiss him. That way he doesn't interrupt the fight with Oliver. Get out of here! Cool. And now we'll simply take care of these guys one at a time. This bayonet dude is first, because he's nice and isolated. Then we'll get elephant dude over here. By hugging this wall, we can sneak by without aggroing everybody. Oh, out of stamina. Deserved all of that pain. That's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Calculated, even. Now, if I make him angry and then hide over here, he should run over and try to get a shot on me. Which will just bring him closer into range. Outstanding. Oops. I meant to do that. And he's dead. Ooh, and he dropped a thing. Cool. And that is all of the gifts that we have access to mastered. Bloodguard really won't be handy just now. It will be handy much later on in the game. Specifically against Queen's Knight, Gilderoy the Golden Boy, Queen's Knight Reborn, Mito. It, it's just useful. Venomark is also going to be useful. 
And I think we're finally going to change things up a bit. I'm going to start Shang's side quest. Wait, why did I pick this up? This is just a sword. I'm going to start Shang's side quest to gain access to the Den of Darkness? Den of the Dead? Den of something. It, it, it's one of those early depths maps. But there is a camera in there, and that is a camera I want. We can give it to Davis for uh, uh, Hermes Chrome that will allow us to change our weapons element to poison, which is very beneficial. And since we did a lot of farming early on, we've got a buttload of awake modules we can take advantage of. I won't go charging all the way over there to fight this guy, because if I reach this, that guy falls down. He's easily handled, however. Oh my god, this is so nice being able to actually just fight normally. The melee only, the melee skills only challenge put me in a real rough spot. I was not enjoying that. But, it's another challenge on the books. So for that, I'm pleased. I've only really got one more challenge in mind. After this one. Well, okay, I've got a couple. Deathkiller, um... A gentleman who frequents the stream wants me to do an all challenges challenge run. I've also wanted to do a um, free aim bayonet only. But unlike the previous uh, attack restricting challenges, the casting only and melee skills only challenge. I think I'm going to allow parrying, just because it'll be easier to launch, and free aim parrying is going to be a challenge. Oh, he didn't get staggered. That's fine. Okay, sure. I'm out of stamina, by the way. He's like, you can't parry forever. And you're correct. I could not. Wait for it. There we go. Now, the launch attacks... The, uh these attacks that I keep doing will stagger bosses. It won't actually knock them into the air, but it has more stagger power than your standard attacks. Oh, I was out of stamina. And that's a dead Oliver. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Outstanding. So, we'll f do all this nonsense, skip all these cutscenes, get the Prometheus blood code, which we'll do a little bit with, but we won't fully power it up until, like, uh, I don't know, maybe around Cathedral or so. There's just a lot of gifts that are a part of Prometheus, and you don't get every piece until after Butterfly is dead. So I might as well just wait 
we probably really won't be able to do much with uh, powering up. I really won't be able to do much mastery while we're in the dried up trenches immediately after getting the last Prometheus gift. So, might as well just wait until Cathedral. There's a lot of enemies there that are worth a lot of experience. And a lot of haze, too. Which is another thing. We won't really get Halberd Mastery until, like, a little past halfway through the game. Uh, after Ashen Cavern. But, that's fine. Halberds do decent damage. All, all on their own. So yeah, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty confident this is not going to be a very awful playthrough, which is what I was really saving it for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I was scratching my eyeballs. Exhaust both of Io's dialogue, go back to talk to Lewis. He tells us it's nap time. We wake up and we just go over to Lewis and mache some more. And then we get a cutscene. Well, okay, okay. We've got more mashing to do. And then we get a cutscene. He tells you to go talk to the other NPCs, but you don't have to. You only have to talk to Io. If you don't exhaust both of her dialogue options, then he'll make a remark about talking to Io. Like he's some kind of smooth operator. He's the least smooth character here. He's a whiny little bundle of nerves. Nobody likes him. Okay, that's a lie. He did come in pretty clutch during the pacifist challenge. But I did, whenever he's around, Linkin Park lyrics start playing in my head. Get out of here. That is also scripted. He always shows up. Right? Cool. Now. One weird thing about Shang's side quest is unless you speak to him twice, he won't actually give you the like the materials for that he's requesting won't appear in the depths it's very 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 strange i could have shown it off since i wasn't planning on doing a side quest with this character but if you just talk to him and get the map and then immediately go there the material he wants isn't going to show up it'll just be missing which is weird but mm, that's just how it goes sometimes with video games. There are certain flags that need to be set. But going back and speaking to him until he reminds you that he wants you to dig up some materials will spawn the materials he wants. I guess it's supposed to mimic like a treasure hunt kind of thing where... You scour an area, and then you you couldn't find it. You go back to talk to him again, and he's like, no, it's totally there. And then you go look again, and poof, magic. Honestly, it's better than just having the material as a random drop, which would be a somewhat interesting prospect. Having the... Like, just some random enemy in the depths carrying it. 
Yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. In fact, you can see it on the minimap right now. Grab these up for the post playthrough rave. Yeah, okay, dude. I only want one thing in here, and it is right here. Let's grab this up too for reasons. That's the material that Shang wants, by the way. And we're gone. The other item I skipped is just a key to open the boss of this Death's map, but we don't need it. There's also a blood trial nearby, but the only item sitting in that blood trial is Queen Iron, and we'll be getting plenty of that. Plus it's cheap, so even if we don't get everything we need, we can buy it pretty easily. Okay, cool. We got a camera for Davis. Combined with the ramen noodles we picked up in the ruined city center, that'll give us a Hermes chrome quite easily. But we'll worry about making a venom weapon later. For now, we need to head to the ruined city center and make our way to the Howling Pit so that we can pick up the Impaler. We'll also be picking up two Queen Steel to take our Impaler to plus four. So that we'll just be complete badasses. Hey Shang, here you go. Congrats. Uh, let's drop this ladder for reasons. I'm probably never going to come back to this area. But I'd like to have it dropped all the same. That was pretty painless. That was quite quick indeed. And thanks to that, we won't really be running out of resources for uh, getting a stun chrome off of the weaponsmith. We've already got two weapons, the Bardiche that I'm carrying now, and then a duplicate. Oops, ran right past it. And a duplicate I've got in my inventory. We honestly don't really need a stun weapon, but I want to have an easy time fighting um, Arjun Wolf Berserker 1 and 2. Man, I'm glad I closed my window. I can hear a garbage truck slamming away. All right, we need Iron Will, and that's it from this, from Berserker. Uh, Prometheus, we will grab Blade Dance. Mm, kinda don't want it though. We'll just focus on Berserker for now. Oops. Iron Will is incredibly useful. It is very, very, very useful indeed. Uh, we really can't use much of anything else. Get that out there. Don't need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I had a partner with me, that'd be useful. Now it's time for the same uh, rigmarole of collecting all of the goodies here. Ooh, feisty. Uh, 
was hoping that would catch both of them. Well, that's one way to ever go. The problem with these early game halberds is that they're not incredibly great in terms of damage. Oops. You didn't see me try that. I may have forgotten to check my focus gauge before attacking. I finally parried the quick strike. Oh my god. This is a joyous day. Uh, I couldn't parry the easy attack though. Alright, it's back to being an okay day. He's probably not going to attack. Bonk the shield, go for backstab. We don't... We, we could switch to Prometheus to grab the melee skill that would let us cut through his shield, but you can just bonk it. Beautiful. Still going to be a while before we have... Uh, access to Iron Will. Man, that's so effective. It's a very easily overlooked vested core. It took me ages to find it on my first playthrough. Ooh, feisty one. He knows my plan. He must have been listening. He was pretending to sleep. Wait, you're still alive? Stop living. Oi. Yeah, I'm right here. If I go too far, there's gonna be another guy who interrupts. There he is. Just caught a sword with my teeth. Ow. Hey, big mama. If I had poison, I'd use it. But the berserker does not have enough dexterity for that. So we're just gonna slash her to pieces. Stabbered a bits too. And now she's very dead. Cutscene time. Ah, oh, this is so wonderful. I'm so happy just to be playing normally. You should rest here. On second thought. Oh my god, I have a Bardiche to deal with the dogs. This is gonna be so easy. Oh, he is 
is tankier than I expected. Uh-oh. Did that wrong. Uh-oh. Uh, I tried to curve at an angle to make the dog miss me. It did not work. I failed you all. We really could use some extra I-Core, however. Now, how do I backstab this one? There we go. Stupendous. By coming over to the truck on the right-hand side there, we can aggro this guy without Kung Fu Man waking up and causing problems. And an awoke uh, Kung Fu Man is a bad thing indeed. Two quick stabs from our trusty Bardiche will lay him out. Get thee gone. Uh, let's go beat up the Pride Parade here. Double kill, triple kill. Multi kill. Right, very useful goodie right here. Oh my, thank you. A sunset sword. I'm not going to use. Cool. I'll let us claim. Our new blood code and our new weapon. Okay, dog has got to go now. <gasps> I don't have the dexterity for it. Alright, well, whatever. We can use this. And whenever we swap to hunter or assassin. Oh, Assassin's got garbage dexterity too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, my dog. Oh, there's so many of them. Thankfully, dogs have no balance. They're easily dealt with. I should follow my own parrying guy to keep trying to parry the first swing of that attack. Kung Fu Man should be coming up soon. Yep, there he is. Stagger him, go for a backstab. That's the safest way to be rid. Who's that hurt a lot? Hey, Death Killer. Welcome, friend. How are you doing on this fine day? That there is a dead Kung Fu Man. Let's just jump down to the Howling Pit first. I probably won't die. Let's 
probably also going to be dicey. Now, the trick for gathering all of the items in the Howling Pit is to... Oh dear god, I'm dead. <laughs> That's not the trick. Oh, I'm sad to hear that, Death Killer. I imagine it's a lot of classwork then. guy's in the middle of an attack, the shield bonk strategy doesn't really work. Alright, we didn't get dogged. get a closer look at what chat's saying. Involves chemistry honors one. Uh Yeah, chemistry's a lot of math. And yikes. That does sound like a lot of coursework. If you barely got time to finish it. That's that that is one small shame of teaching science in a classroom. Is that what you learn in the book is usually pretty useful. However, it doesn't directly reflect what a science field is like, like working in the sciences. Lab work is very interesting. Yeah, come on, Pride Parade. One guy doesn't want to join in. backups that I do not want to interrupt. Me. Uh, teacher signed you up for something you weren't ready for? Well, they probably did it with good reason, though. That's got us to the Howling Pit. We'll send this back up. Oh, I should probably hit the map marker over there, too.
I'll most likely forget. Now, one of the teachers that I was, uh, one, one teacher signed me up for uh, academic decathlon. And I just kind of slackered my way through. It was right after our school, our high school had been split into uh, two different schools. Since it was a really, really, really huge campus that was on like two different city blocks, they just basically cut the school in half. Uh, I changed my mind. I do want the map marker. Back through here. But, uh, yeah, Academic Decathlon was fun. That was a lot of work. But like I said, I just kind of slackered my way through it. I am quite adept at multiple choice tests. I don't know why. I just find them easy. And so I did fairly decently in Academic Decathlon without ever really studying. But I think that's more luck than actually me being smart. Oh, yeah, you got a good point there. It's... It, education is very, 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 very strange. Thanks to the No Child Left Behind Act, rather than overhaul how classes are done, standards have just been lowered and like teachers get reprimanded for not passing enough students I don't have a phone call, hold on wrong number but no, my, mo my mom is a teacher, and she's an elementary school teacher, and it's, it, it, it's pretty painful when the kids just aren't learning, and there's nothing she can do. Like, she'll get in trouble if she doesn't pass enough children. So, simple solution is just to lower your standards. Hooray! Magically, everyone gets better grades without any real improvements. It's... it... it's... weird. America needs an education overhaul. Which is easy to say, not so much to do. I certainly have no idea how to pull it off, but I do know we are lacking. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a policy that was put into effect when, uh, around the time Gulf War II started with W in charge, he was the one who signed it into law. It's, yeah, it's a whole brand new rabbit hole to fall down. Um, wait, we need a new blood coat, really. Let's zip back to home base real fast. Pick up Coco's blood code as well as Yakimo's blood code. Now, Yakimo's we really won't be able to do much with. But we can at least get Flashing Fang. Yep, back to home base. But Academic Decathlon, it was... It was, it was okay. Like, I had no problem with taking tests, which is all it is. It is a test-taking competition. We made it to... regional? Before uh, the other schools just beat us out. It's, uh, it's aggregate, so your entire team needs to do well, not just one person. Plus, we kind of sort of didn't have enough people. 
Um, there is some IRL stuff going on, so I missed one of the meets. And the, we, I, we, we were more or less disqualified because we didn't have enough people. But everybody else scored well. Uh, let's see. What should I give her? That was worth three. This is probably going to be worth two. Oh, no, it was worth three. Uh, have a book. Um, have some Cologne. Perfect. Alright, that's one of the chromes taken care of. Yeah, I know who you are, Davis. Give him the noodles. And the camera. Beautiful. Talk to Yakumo to get his blood code. Most teachers have participation grades. Yeah. Yeah. Although I think classroom participation grades um, predated the No Child Left Behind thing. Wait, why am I talking to you? Get out of here. Coco, my man. Um, alright, let's try that again. No, I kind of liked school. I was decent at it whenever I put my mind to it. Just for the majority of it, I was really lazy. Alright, I think that's everything we can do in home base. Was there anything from Atlas I desperately want? Flashing Fang, sure. Foul Blood Barrier, maybe? There really isn't anything we want from Coco. Some of the stuff could be useful, but most of it won't be. I can still get Blade Dance. Mm, that is our first... That That is the first melee skill we can get a hold of. So it's worth considering. Uh, but, if we go to the Howling Pit, we'll eventually be able to pick up Shadow Assault, which is a much better one. Well, sort of. Now, but going back to Academic Decathlon, if you remember... There was an older disaster movie called The Day After Tomorrow. It's about, like, crazy climate change and New York gets turned into an iceberg and... Um... The, the, the kids that are featured in that movie, the characters, were in New York doing some academic decathlon thing. So I was like, hey! I know what that is! And then I can't remember anything else about the movie. I did that. It was awful. Ooh, that was narrow. This might be a little bit suck. Because it takes two hits to stagger these guys. But, I mean, I guess it could be worse. Wait, we've got a new... Ah, uh, there's a new blood coat I was going to be working on. Flushing Fang and Foul Blood Barrier. And I can use the other Bardiche now. Cool. Somebody is drilling in the apartment building. I can hear it. 
I really hope it doesn't come through on the headset. Sounds like farts. Alright, slightly more powerful Bardiche. It does not have the same quick knockdown. Alright. Am I gonna die here? No, I didn't mean to pull this. Well, I lived. Oh, I tagged both of them. Well, whatever. All that lever does is just light up the area. Makes a really cool flame gout, though. So I guess that's nice. But I kind of know where I'm going, so I don't need it. I I say that, and I'm immediately lost. Alright, I want to go this way. I'm glad I don't have to fear the Grimers anymore. Well, that is... bothersome. Hopefully they'll be done soon. Let there be light! do need to continue along this side, because there's a vestige core I would very much like to grab. However, it is surrounded by dudes, so that's a thing. Activate Fallowood Barrier just because it's relatively cheap. Ah, oh, there's two of them here. That's a problem. Well, Foul Blood Barrier saved me. Oh, that sucks. Alright, got him. I'm in the platform. I've become one with platform. Alright. We're okay. We're okay. We survived. I didn't think we would, but we survived. Coco, my man. I know several movement leaders want to have a word with you. Uh, 
Are you talking about a pair of her moving parts? Because if you're not careful, she will bludgeon you with them. Alright, this is a good thing I want. Alright, backstabs are never happening. Backstabs are over. We're done. They're no longer allowed. They don't exist in Code Vein. I'm just mad I'm not landing any of them. Uh, we did pick up a buff in Den of the Dead, Den of Darkness, wh whichever deaths map I went to. But it's not particularly useful. I mean, it would be useful against these enemies and some later ones, but I don't really feel like working it into my build. It's less effective if you actually swing your weapon. For the melee skills challenge, it was quite good. Because melee skills did not decrease your focus. But normally? Your focus is... Okay. I'm getting surrounded. Time to leave. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, when you're focused and you use th this buff, uh, that passive adds ice damage whenever you're focused, but when you swing your weapon, your focus decreases, so, like, it, it's, it's not great. Not in my opinion, at least. <laughs> Surprised you're not at Crypt Spire? I didn't know this was part of the game. Is it DLC? Yes. Yes, it is the DLC known as The Beginning. Are we are 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 we watching the same stream, Death Killer? Are you feeling okay, man? Alright, we only got one of them. I was planning on backstabbing the one breathing lightning. But we'll just have to do it like this then. Hey! Backstabs do exist! Outstanding. Okay, I am a little bit lost now. <laughs> you thought my crypt, my code vein hours were nothing but grinding in Mito? You're not wrong. You missed a bit of farming in uh, the very first area, however. We needed a weapon to kill Oliver since ranged spells are out. Uh, an upgrade to our current Blood Veil. I'll take it. Still have decent enough rolling. You're not wrong. I do spend a lot of time in Crypt Spire on every playthrough. It's just a good farming spot, really. Yeah, I deserve that. Now that's a lot of damage. This way, maybe? I think... No, I did it wrong. No, we gotta go this way a bit. 
Hey, big fella. I see him in the distance. But before we fight him, we'll clear this out. We'll grab up our solitary iron. Hey, sauce. Oh, get out of here, game. Yeah, you gonna do something? Uh, oops. He did indeed do something. That's what I was wanting to do. I was wanting to dodge to the side so that the follow-up weak attack would hit him. Hey! Hey, don't ignore me. Come on, fight. the next one, because I'd really like to clear out the sea urchins before going after Big Dude. No, I'll probably be farming in Crypt Spire again during this playthrough. Alright, awesome. That should be all of them. Nope. I was wrong. Come on! Don't just stand there. Or spike there. Alright. So. Let's get in there. Oops. That is not fantastic damage. Got him. Um, he's too far away, apparently. Let's try that again. Oh, dying? I haven't died yet. Although that's pretty quick to change. Oh dear god. But yes, generally speaking, I do die a lot. I think we're good for this section. Let's move on to the parts I missed. Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, I see a shiny in the distance. I'm going to grab it. It's worthless. I mean, it might come in handy against Slimy Stripper, but for the most part, yeah, I didn't really need it. What am I doing? I always try to parry that. And it never works. Learned my lesson. Okay, you cannot parry that one. I thought you could. You would have, yeah. It would have been peaked comedic timing. That's a bunch of words. It would have been peak comedic timing for me to die then. But, uh, nope. It's a goodie! It's worthless! But I want it. It has my name on it. Perfect. Um, I've grabbed all of the important stuff, so let's head this away. Yes. Watch a cutscene. My aching face. 
Alright, so I guess I'm gonna fight you now. It didn't have to be this way, Bugman. We could have just happily ignored each other. That sound suppressor may come in handy. In case I do need to stealth buy something. Alright, success. Why do you have so many tabs open, Death Killer? What what you doing? Well, I mean obviously classwork and stuff. Damn. <laughs> the those those workers are driving me insane. Alright, we'll rest here again so we don't have to watch the cutscene in case the game crashes. It really shouldn't. We haven't had very many crashes at all. We did crash on loading once. We started the game and then it just immediately crashed. But... On the whole, it's been pretty stable. Which I'm pleased. Very pleased about. Alright, this big fella's gotta die. I should stop trying to parry him. Just kidding! Ah! Look, Mom. I am one of the cool kids. He drops a key. How about the... Which will lower this water. Um... I don't know why, but I feel like I'm missing... Like, I'm forgetting one of the vestige cores. I'm pretty sure I grabbed them all, though. Up to this point, at least. You have three monitors? Wow. That's very impressive. I have one. Two if you count my TV. One word, one PowerPoint. My stream! Three sites, three tabs, the same school site. Is it one of those, uh... Is it one of those kind of setups where... Ow. Each link opens up a new tab. Because that can get annoying. I, uh... I had a school site so do something like that. Uh, let's not kill the Grimers just yet. Let's get rid of the Bugmen. Because they are far more annoying. Excuse me. Get out of here. All right, beautiful. Hey, fella. And that's how you get rid of him. Let me in. All right, we're good. Do I really want to kill you? The answer is yes. Yes, I do really want to kill him. It's free haze. Okay, maybe not free, but... Y y you get what I mean. Oh, I am very out of stamina. Wee. All right, 
that's everything looted from there. Oh, you just have them in separate tabs? Okay. For a split second there, I forgot where I was going. Now I need to go over here. Lead off with one of these. And get the chopping. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming too. I was like, hmm, I didn't activate Foul Blood Barrier or Iron Will. I hope he doesn't belly bonk. Passes. Right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, yeah, we're just missing one. I think there's technically nine vestige cores since one of them just automatically gives you the assassin blood code. However, there's eight pieces to collect. The ones that are needed for uh, unlocking everything from Atlas and assassin. Where are you going? I'm gonna trick this son of a spine. Alright, didn't work. Ah, I was hoping I could send it off the cliff. Oh well. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, having multiple monitors would make work easier. Especially if there's something that requires a lot of detail. Being able to dedicate an entire monitor to it would make it much, much easier. I don't like the two Grimers that are chasing me. I don't like this. I don't like this. I need to be cautious because he can do his uh, long-range lightning blast where he sends out a bunch of smaller bolts of electricity. I could really ruin my day. But we lived. It's all's well that ends well. Come on, pick it up. Rocket League will becoming will become free. Oh hey, yeah. Um I was moderately interested in Rocket League. Eh, not so much anymore. It's like I I don't know. I kind of feel like I would not enjoy it. I feel like I'd be more angry with it than uh happy. So I do get competitive, unhealthily competitive. Hey, cool. Still got a bit to go on Flashing Fang. Uh, where the hell am I going? I swear I've played this game before. Hello, friend. It's good with friends. Oh, agreed. I don't have too many of those. I thought you could trick me with a delayed swipe. 
You were wrong. No, I did recently reconnect with a an older internet friend. We've been playing Soviet Lumberjack Simulator, which is fun. It's very, very, very slow paced, but it is cooperative. It gives you a sensation of a job well done. It is very slow paced, though. Why did I pick that up? Not even I know. Wait, why did I pull that? That just makes a gout of fire appear. Poof. The fire's totally been lit, see? I want a refund. That fire is lame. Uh, I did pick up the Queen Steel, right? Yes. Yes, I did. Alright. Oh, that's not good. And a freeze tonic. Actually will be helpful against Slimy Stripper. Her weapon does ice damage, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we've got ourselves a real damn it. Damn it, Atlas, you suck. We'll be swapping to the Impaler soon enough, though. We've got a bit more to go. We got just a bit more to go on Flashing Fang. Ta da! 100%. And we could probably get that as we go collect the other vestige cores. I don't think I'm going to challenge Slimy Stripper right away. Because I want to get some of the Prometheus stuff first. Since I picked up Blade Dance, I think I'm also going to grab Eternal Blade Dance whenever I'm, it's available. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I get that way too. It's very, very hard to make yourself believe that you can't win them all. The learning curve is ungodly hard. Yeah. Yeah, I tried... I, I did kind of look into it a little bit, and it just seemed beyond my control. Like it, it, it was just too much even for me. There's so much nuance. And finesse. And to be honest, I kind of didn't feel like developing it. Okay, so. We're done with the Howling Pit for now. Let's journey forth. Back here to collect all the other vestige cores we missed. I thought I could knock him down. He would block the hit, but he would still uh, he'd still get knocked down. Hey, me man, what's up? has sillier non-competitive modes? Well, I guess that makes sense. You'd have ranked and unranked.
You have become gamer. That's fantastic news. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. But I guess this works. Uh, yeah, we'll go around this way. There's Vestige Core I've yet to pick up. Same song, second verse for Kung Fu Man here. He's very dead. It's gonna be too much of a hassle to get around behind that dude. Kickboxing, uh, Capoeira, Lost. They're pretty bad, but at least you can parry them. And it is highly amusing to do so. I'll parry the next Kung Fu Man. Stop it. Or rather, I'll try to parry the next Kung Fu Man. Two, three. Oh wow. Takes four then. You should come running at me. She had more distance. She 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 knew. She knew. And she ran up short. And a parry to finish. Yes. He, yeah, I've, I've heard about Death Killer's setup. He was just here describing it. It's pretty great. Pretty insane. Three monitors, 20 tabs. Got a section off to the side just for his bonsai buddy. Talk about old internet. That weird purple gorilla thing that was secretly a pile of viruses. Yeah, it was the good old days. Uh, why am I going back there? I already have the Bardiche. Oh! Oh dear god. Well, thankfully, the double hit knocked me out of stun. However, I was double hit. That's no fun. Is that a bonsai tree? <laughs> That's even funnier. Yeah, he, he, he has a bonsai um, that doubles as a heat sink for his rig. Hey, hey. We're dead. We're not monkeys. Oh. Right. Minor mistake. I don't have a melee skill to fight this dude with. Um, please wait a second patiently, sir. Thank you. The kindest lost. Okay. Back to Alice. I mean, we lost all of our I-Corp, but that's fine. 
Okay, so I don't like Halberd guy over there. If he sees me, he's going to call for backup, and then I'm going to be swamped and have to fight all of them, which is something I am not interested in. I'm just a little old lady with some cataracts. I don't think I can handle that many guys at once. My bowels may give out. You hate it when Joe Rogan harasses you in Code Vein, huh? What? I'm so confused. Wait, who's Joe Rogan? I I don't know celebrities. I will fully admit to that. Alright. Well, that could have gone better. Harry Kung Fu Man. And he's dead. Very satisfying. Yeah, I wish there was a way to disable it. I prefer text-based emoticons as well. Get out of here. Uh, I'll break that open for reasons. Mostly because walls are just a suggestion in video games. They are not real and they cannot hurt you. Oh, which one of you is the dead guy? There we go. Just hit him with a doofer. Because he calls for backup, I can get a cheeky slam on him. Alright, now I actually have to be cautious. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright. We got lucky. Ooh. That was scary. That would have been all of my HP if he had caught me with it. I'm not gonna let this guy around the corner... Well, okay, he got me. I was right in the middle of saying I'm not gonna let him get me. Shouldn't even said anything. Alright, well, we can grab this blood veil, this map marker, and this shortcut. And then we move onward to the, one of the more boring parts. Baiting one enemy to come at me at a time while I avoid pissing them all off at once. I did grab this, right? Yeah. There's this Y in that back corner, but I'm not going to grab it because it's a great sword, and this is obviously not a great sword challenge. Alright, he's running. He's running. Come on, you could totally get a shot on me. Come on. You could totally do it, buddy. There we go. Just kidding, you suck. They're like me when I play a first-person shooter. I'm woefully bad at shooters, by the way. See? You want to swing again, right? Yes, you do. Got him. Barely watch movies. Yeah. bad man. Well, the walls themselves can't hurt you. It's the enemies on the other side of the walls that will. Well, I was not expecting her to make her way back up here. Hey, there we go. 
And that's all for Atlas for now. Actually, I don't think there is anything else on Atlas I want. Uh, impact Wave is not going to be helpful. I mean, I could still use it, but it's probably not going to be helpful. Strength Vitality up could be very useful, however. Um, the rest of it, not really. The Strength Vitality up will make... Uh, more blood codes be able to wield the obliterator axe. The obliterator axe needs a B in strength, which is pretty crazy. So I will be getting strength vitality up. Yeah, get out of here. I keep forgetting that's not going to knock him down. Oops. for that transgression. With y'all blood. Oh, I am out of healing. I need to be careful with fighting this big mama. I don't want to die here. Alright. We've got a solid blood veil now. Nightclaw is actually pretty decent. I'll probably be using it for the better part of the game. Yes. I can follow my own parry guide. And I'm somewhat surprised we haven't ended up with a Sunset Halberd yet. Unless I just blacked out when I picked one up. No, no, we still don't have one. Good, that Halberd sucks. Why couldn't have had why couldn't I have had that sort of luck with the uh use what you see run? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I do, on occasion, do get a craving to play a shooter. Like, my, my brother-in-law has been wanting to play Destiny 2. Uh, or Borderlands 3. Uh, but, I don't know how stuck in I'm gonna get. Like, don't get me wrong, they're still fun. I'm just not very good at them. Uh, any shooter shooters? Mm. Uh, mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Grand Theft Auto has got auto aim though, so it's like it. It does have shooter elements. Like you gotta kill guys who are hiding behind cover. It's... As far as third-person shooters go, it's competent. I don't know. I always had a lot more fun with the cars part of GTA. Yeah, you can't parry. What's not in front of you? Yeah, aiming with controllers is pretty awful. Mouse and keyboard is way better for aiming. But I haven't played a shooter with a mouse and keyboard since... Jeez, wait a minute. When was the last shooter I played with a mouse and keyboard? Was it Unreal Tournament? Dear God, it might have been Unreal way, way, way back in ancient history. I'm racking my brain trying to think of other shooters. There was Quake 2. But that was, uh... No, 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 no. I got uh, Quake 2 as a, a, a bonus disc for picking up Quake 4 on Xbox 360. 
And that was with controller. Quake 2 with a controller was... Uh, it was an experience. Honestly, the game was so archaic, it's still pretty fun. Like, I really enjoyed Quake 2. Haven't really played the first Quake. Nor did I play any of the other Quake games. Quake 4 was pretty okay. Uh, it was entertaining from what I remember. Oh, yeah, 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 where the sensitivity is all wonky. Either you're just twitching all over the place, or it takes you forever to aim carefully. Uh, is that all of the vestige cores here? One, two, three, four. Check. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, yep, that's everything. Okay, so, back to home base. We will purchase up skills and repair vestige cores and... Happiness will be had by all. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe I played a bit of Halo on PC. I was big into Halo when I was in high school and shortly after. Not so much now. But, uh... A buddy of mine had Halo 1 PC, and I was like, oh my god, Halo with the flamethrower! This is the best thing in the world! And then Halo 3 came out. And it also had flamethrowers. And I was like, oh my god, it's the best thing in the world, but I can't see, because of all of the bloom. Okay, vestige core repair time. Hello. Buckle up, we're gonna be here for a while. Wait, really? Genshin Impact comes out in less than 20 days? You know, that's actually not a bad thing. There have been some pretty great games that have come out. And we are quickly closing in on the one year anniversary of Code Vein. Now I could argue that 2019 was better for gaming because that's when Code Vein came out. But uh, all of the DLC for Code Vein came out in 2020, so I guess it still works. September 28th? Let's go. Um, yeah, if I had cash, oh, I can't pick it up because she's waking up. That's weird. You think OBT is happening? Huh? I'm so confused. But that would be pretty cool. If for the uh, yearly anniversary of Code Vein's release, if people could jump back on and play through again just like it was during the um 
like just like during launch day. Although on console, it's really going strong. It's uh, it's not that difficult to find people. It has tapered off a bit, however. But um, I hear on PlayStation, most people just look for help on the Discord rather than pick up randoms. I don't know. I'll have to check it out whenever I get a P PlayStation. <laughs> you call me a cretin. Hey, I need... I got business I gotta take care of. I have vestige cores that need repaired, and I can't do it myself. But no, the, uh, the Dark Souls series have, uh... Return to Lordran, Dranglaic, and Lothric events where people just go back for a week and play. No. They make new characters and play through again. Um, I wonder if Code Vein could get something similar. That'd be kind of nice. You have a queen to let sleep. Really? I did not know that. Apparently, that's that is interesting. Like I saw somebody on Reddit mention how the like PlayStation Four player base mostly uses Discord. I haven't even checked myself, but I thought it was. An interesting tidbit. On Xbox, I was still able to uh, pull up randoms, although it did take a while. I think that was mostly because I was doing too much with my uh, internet connection, and it was, I was having troubles finding people. But yeah, it has kind of tapered off. Okay. Xbox is barely active on Discord. Yeah, it makes sense. Most, uh... I, I really haven't seen... any kind of help-wanted stuff on Reddit. I wonder why that is. Wait, why am I getting two-handed sword mastery? I'm not using, uh... Well, whatever. Do you really want to switch? Hey, if Code Vein was on the Switch, that would be amazing. I I might have to get a Switch instead of a PlayStation, if that was the case. But yeah, Switch would be nice. It's got Tetris 99. And, uh... Animal Crossing. And it can emulate all of the old Nintendo games. Oh yeah, sorry about that, Io. And you can take it anywhere. That would be good for uh, traveling cross-country. Switch is 100% epic! Oh, yeah. They are putting... I thought it was already available on the Virtual Console. Mario Galaxy Sunshine in 64. Yeah, the Switch is pretty interesting. There was another... There was another Switch game that really, really, really caught my interest, but I can't remember what it was. Breath of the Wild, of course. I did. I did really want to check that one out. The online isn't though. Ooh, twenty dollars a month for getting connected. Yeah, that is a bit steep, but well, it could be worse. 
It could be a lot worse. Yeah, you'd be able to play your childhood games again. Oh, uh, yeah. Weren't they releasing, like, uh, N64 Mini? That was basically just flash-loaded with a whole bunch of uh, N64 games, classic N64 games. I'm pretty sure I still have uh, the Xbox Live Arcade version of Perfect Dark. That was a fun shooter. I think that was pro possibly the shooter I've put the most time into. I'm still not any good at it, but... It doesn't matter. Perfect Dark was way ahead of its time. Uh, and then Perfect Dark Zero came out and everything was sad. Uh, we want this. And this. And this. And this. Alright, Merciless Reaper, Concentration, both of those can get bent. I don't particularly care about them. This I badly want. We got 109s, I'm going to go immediately grab it. Alright. And we need this as well. Hasten, I don't think we're going to need. I will pick up uh, Deft Parry, Blade Dance, and Savvy Evasion. I will pick up all of these. Um, was there anything else from Hunter I wanted? Oh, yeah. This. It takes two twelves. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, well. Um... Let's use some of our remaining haze to upgrade our stuff. We'll make this a plus four. And we'll transform this. Well, after we upgrade it to plus three, we'll transform it to poison. And we'll wait for the stun version until we actually get to the cathedral. Awesome. And I guess we'll use the remaining haze to level up. And we're remarkably close to having enough haze to level up to 15. Beautiful. Alright, let's go kill us a slimy stripper. This class period couldn't go any slower. Hey, you got me in the background to throw out Bon Mots and hilarious observations. Hilarious and great big sarcastic air quotes, of course. <laughs> Treating the queen like that. The queen is dead! All right, we killed her already. All right, all, we we did kind of also absorb her blood, so I have become the queen. Look, I respect Io plenty. It's just that I haven't really fought alongside her in a while, so I'm just kind of treating her harshly, I guess. Next time I play with partners. No, no, wait. We just we just fought alongside Io at the end of the uh, words at the end of the last challenge run. We went back to level one, the level one character, and did some of the depths. Uh, but before we fight Slimy Stripper, I'm gonna go for a cigarette real fast. Um, and this time, hopefully, I won't be an idiot and forget to turn on music. I've been doing that more frequently. But I will be right back, about 5-10 minutes.
Okay, I'm back. Ooh. Gotta catch up on what you guys are saying. Twenty per year? Oh, that's not so bad. That's not nearly as bad as I was expecting it to be. That's actually pretty decent. Now, if they had, like, a monthly recurring charge, that'd be even decenter, but whatever. Um, let's pause this music for a second. Oops. Hit the wrong button. That's fine. Uh... I.O. working that much, you don't give anything in return? Nah, we, uh... Oh, you, uh, yeah, I already did a pacifist challenge. Lewis is actually pretty decent. <laughs> that, I've done so many challenges, it's kind of okay if you missed any. I talk about it pretty much. Yes, the Sonic Arrow is not going to be good. But it's cheap. And it's quick casting, so it might not be an awful idea. I'm somewhat tempted to steal that challenge run idea. The uh, Sonic Arrow only. It is the weakest spell in the entire game. So, Ava is going to be a nightmare. But yeah, there's plenty of... Plenty of bosses and situations where that would be very not great. Um, I was thinking, though. I can. I can just... Oh. I can't. I need more haze. Fortunately, we got a bunch. Yeah, that should be enough to get overdrive. I wasn't actually paying attention to the cost. But yeah, the Sonic Arrow only challenge is... Even if you can use a pipe to regain some uh, Icor, it is still probably going to be a lot of not fun. Let's ditch that in favor of Prometheus. Slap on all this stuff. Don't need that. Adrenaline, Overdrive, Void Dance. Slap that on there. It's all coming together. Uh, we'll put Poison Weapon down there. And... Um, sure. Alright, let's go kill a Slimy Stripper. Oh, I want my i back, however. Yeah, Sonic Arrow is not going to do much. It's probably not going to be 10 damage, but it's not going to be a lot. But casting against Skull King is actually the easiest way to fight him. So even if you do pitiful damage, it might not be too bad. You'll probably need to get really creative during the final phase, but... I don't think it'll be awful, per se. Well, let's go kill us a slimy stripper for real. Skip cutscenes. She's being really nice to me today. We'll keep hitting her to build up Blade Dance a bit more. Go for big damage and then back away. Oh my god! We are fat rolling with the Bardiche, which is not great. 
But thankfully, she's got really poor balance, so... Oh, there goes Overdrive. Not like we really need it. She's dead. There we go. Like clockwork. Yeah, Harmonia is a good casting option. Very high will. <laughs> it'll, it'll do 20 damage total. I, I think you might be able to pull, like, 150 damage. So it's not great, but it could be worse, I guess. But yeah, you're not wrong. There's going to be lots of running away. Howling Pit is going to be pretty awful. Sonic Arrow does pitiful amounts of stagger damage, so if two bugmen come after you at once, you're pretty screwed. <clears throat> but casting Slimy Stripper isn't that bad. If you can practice parrying her and can uh, parry her pretty reliably, then it's really, really not that big of a deal. I fought Slimy Stripper so much. I really, really enjoy the fight now. I used to dread it at the start of every single challenge run. But now, now, now it's pretty fun. Cool. This will teleport us back to home base. And then we'll just immediately leave and head towards the park ruins. And go kill Butterfly. And after Butterfly is dead, onward to dried up trenches. Hooray. Making good progress here. Um, let's see. Dark Shout could be useful for Sonic Arrow. The problem is that it would be a lot of i cost for not a big damage increase. The passive that increases dark damage whenever you're focused would probably be more effective because it doesn't cost anything to cast. You just gotta be focused. But, um... Let's see, what else is... What else would be decent? Isis could also be pretty decent. Isis has got a very high weight capacity. So you'd be able to wear a heavier blood veil. Yeah, I'm just going to pass by all these guys. I have no need to kill them. Get in there. And yeah, we'll, we'll lead off with Blow of Madness. Oh, you've actually done the math on it? Oh dear god. 36,250 Sonic Arrows? No! No! That sounds so awful. I, I can't be very tough. I'm just being stupid.
I didn't set up my hot bar. Oh well. She's being real weird. I don't like it. That's some big damage. Stop doing that, I can't parry it. Spin to win, spam. Well, rip. Nice knowing you overdrive. being up against that wall. Get out of here. And it's dead. Just teleported straight through that orb. Hey, welcome back, Death Killer. Oh, you put an extra 20 in there? Oh. Yeah, well, 3,000 Sonic Arrows is still way too many. 150 damage is nearly 500 Sonic Arrows. Um, I hope you do at least 150. It could be more. It'll really, you'll really have to just uh, play it by ear and see. But, like the Sonic Arrow challenge. Does seem... Like, it could be really awful. I don't necessarily think it would be, because of how quickly it can cast. The damage is terrible, of course. But, there are worse, there are worse things you can do. The drain attack only challenge was a nightmare. Just uh, pure casting only. It was very similar to the melee skills one, as I'm, I, I repeatedly mentioned. But not being able to regain Icor with weak or heavy attacks made it very unpleasant. Yay, cutscene. Uh, hang 
on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I-Core focus would be great. But you would have to kill Effie along with mini bosses with just Sonic Arrow. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a very bad choice, trying to kill Frozen Empress with only Sonic Arrows. She's hard enough with, like, fire spells if you're too low level. Now, if you're over leveled, she is a bit of a joke. But considering there's no way to decrease your level after leveling up. Yeah. On the bright side, though, Sonic Arrow could be applied to basically any blood code. Cool. We're here. Let's go ahead and purchase up Fire Weapon before I forget. That'll come in handy in Ridge of Frozen Souls. And it looks like we're not going to have Eternal Blade Dance, but that's fine. We'll swap in Fire Weapon for a Flashing Fang. Put Poison back over there. And yeah, this looks like the rest of this is fine. Ow, stop it! Stop hitting me! A thing I'm not gonna use. I don't like how I'm fat rolling. I think I wanna change veils. There we go. Normal mobility. Oh, hello, friend. Hot dogs! Delicious. Hey, I got it this time. Our critical damage has taken a sharp decline, but that's fine. Our weapon damage more than makes up for it. <laughs> a two second cooldown is still really short. That hurts. Oh, that hurts more. Get me out of here, please. They're not chasing me? Okay. Oh, they took off over this direction. All right, well. That could be really inconvenient. Yeah, for that reason. All right, he's dead and gone. Oi. Looks like the other guys are here too. Seems like they're easily dealt with. I haven't had hot dogs in a while. I usually prefer bratwurst or Polish sausages. But I think the last time I made bratwurst was 4th of July, maybe? Ah, oh, the 
Impaler is so good. Hello. <laughs> Glad you're getting closer to death, huh? <clears throat> oh, happy birthday! You should have said something earlier. Anybody want to fight? Alright, cool. Oh no, not cool. He's gone rogue. We gotta put him down. Alright, this is getting out of control. Big guy's gotta die. Ooh, that was dicey. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't even see you there. That was pure chaos. I'm glad I lived, though. Come on. Come on! Alright, I definitely think we're going to hit the checkpoint before exploring. That is a thing that I want. This guy is most likely up and moving, yeah. I'll go grab the awake module that's sitting back over this way. I don't really need to grab the Riot Breaker. I picked it up during the melee skills only challenge and didn't even use it. Alright, that guy's still not awake, so we're good. Hey, a bonus awake module. Cool. Oh, he's awake now. I guess we gotta fight. Oh, we're just racking up these skills. Also, I'm on drain rating for reasons. So, that is a depths map. I don't think I'm going to visit it. Oh! Gravity. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Uh, hello, friend. Aw, oh, come on! That was inside of him. Oh, whatever. The one with the broadsword left. He probably saw me at the top of that container. Hey, fight me. Revenant lost our... Alright, I'm getting wrecked by that move. The the elephant lost are not really funny when they're angry with you. I've been killed by them too many times. Whoa. 
Whoa. Easy, buddy. Easy. You don't gotta be so aggressive. I'm moving too quickly. That's the reason why I'm getting bullied. Oh, well then. Just have a nap, friend. Delicious 109. We'll zip up here and grab this stuff. Thorn style veil, I'm not going to be using. He came flying! Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> it, it's not that we're excited about getting closer to death, it's more along the lines of. Uh, we're celebrating not dying for another year. Uh, yeah, I do actually want to go down here first. Bring on the pain! Uh, I, I will agree, though, with the Death Killer. The birthday song is a bit on the awkward side. You know, in Australia, they've got a completely different birthday song. And I think one of the lines is cursing the person for being so beautiful. Which just makes me laugh when I think about it. Cool. Now when we go back to home base, we can dress up like Zero Lenny. Oh man, I was ready for it, and he didn't swing twice. Well, whatever, he's dead now. We'll head back over this way. Foist. Oh, see you later, me man. I was reading chat instead of paying attention to what was happening. Cool. And that's a mark marker acquired. Both parties do not like the song. Eh. But it's tradition. All right, well, bye. I wanted to get the guy behind him. Whew, that was a little dicey. But we lived. Yoink. Polish up this guy. I don't think I'm going to loot the chest, though. It just has a broadsword in it. You know what? We might end up mastering all of the gifts for uh, Prometheus before the end of this place. Alright, well, Chuckles is just going to stand there and let me kill him. There's no item here, it's just an enemy!
I was fooled, flummoxed, and bamboozled. Oh, well, bye. We do have a healthy amount of scratch, though. That dude's not awake? That's kind of surprising. Alright, well. I'll just kill him then. Alright, awesome. So that's that section cleared away. I think that's everything. <clears throat> I do believe that is everything looted. Yeah, that appears so. I'm making good progress here. We are jetting through this early game section. Halberds are some of my favorite weapons, though. So I've got quite a bit of practice with using them. Uh, we probably should... Eh, nah, we'll just run with it. And I did just get demolished by the last shotgun dude. So, yeah, let's, let's buff up. I know I can reach him. All right, maybe not. I wish I could kill you. I'm going for it. Oh no, that was a cheap shot. I have no idea what my plan is. That works. Killed him. I was like, what's going on? Man, that was so cheap. The dude shot me in the back. That was doing really well. We'll live dangerously and go clear out this area instead of hitting the checkpoint first. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, that one hit, but the one against the red dude didn't. And whatever. Wait, where'd he go? Oh! Elephant dude died! <laughs> okay! Calculated! Big brain tactics. Banna dude didn't see me? Okay. You thought it was an item, but it was I! Dio! Oh, 
Oh, yeah. The uh, red versus blue meme. We've been backstabbed. We've been tricked. And quite possibly bamboozled. Oh, he saw me. That's okay. Come over here. Knock him off. And then actually activate it. Nice. You know, this, this is going pretty pretty okay in my book. We. Oui. It's going pretty okay indeed. I'm gonna pull out the poison bardiche. Preparation for this fight. Although I should bleed with the Impaler. I think because it's a plus three weapon, we should still be good. Alright, let's get in there. Now I'm holding forward in an attempt to get the uh, backup dancer crystal as close to this guy as I can. I can do something like that. Oh no. I was dodging, game. Come on. Have a heart. Continue to attack him to build up Blade Dance. That's fine. That's less fine. Dude, stop with that. I don't know why, but this guy always gives me trouble. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen, too. And now I just watch him die. Be gone, you fiend. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. You also have this new mouse, you say? You can control the cursor by moving this ball. Oh, trackball. Trackball mice. I'm not a fan of the trackball mice. I understand how it is more ergonomically comfortable. But, uh, yeah, I'm in the same boat. I just feel more comfortable moving my entire arm rather than spinning my fingers. Well, that does it for the early game. Onward to the cathedral. And how are we looking on melee skill? Well, 
we maxed out everything from Prometheus. I guess we need to do Assassin next. But before that, we need to go back to home base and watch me awake up. And skip about five cutscenes. Yeah, that. I. I used to, uh. borrow someone's computer and they had a trackball mouse in their room. Like, they had a computer in their room and. Uh, I had a trackball mouse, and whenever I wanted to e borrow the computer, I had to use the trackball. It was... They didn't really have a huge desk, so having that little ball that you roll around was more sp uh, space efficient than you clearing off a spot for a standard-style mouse. But I didn't like it. I would always overshoot what I was trying to click on. And I would absentmindedly move the entire thing instead of just the ball. Yeah, they're weird. No, 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 no. Onward to the crypt. Ah, uh, that's still a little ways off. <laughs> still a little ways off. Skippity skippity skip skips. Skip 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 skip. Okay. Talk to Lady Face here to send her away. Although I think she gives you gifts after you clear Cathedral or a Ridge of Frozen Souls. Either way, if you talk to her or not. But I'll send her away first. Um, we need to actually touch down in the cathedral proper. But before we do that, let's make our other bardiche a stun bardiche. Cool. And do we have enough iron to upgrade it? We should. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got enough to upgrade one other thing. Awesome! Right, so... I probably could have saved that for... after touching the first checkpoint of the cathedral. Because I'm going to need to teleport back to home base and gather up Mia's and... Davis's blood codes. Davis for steady bulwark, and Mia for ice armor. Oh, it's so sensitive. Yikes. A little ways off? See you in like one or two streams, nerd. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fair. We'll be there for an extended period of time like usual. I need to learn this speedrunning trick. Ah, uh aw. -oh. I was almost able to skip the cutscene. That's a lie, it's impossible. But it's cathedral time. And I have yet to use any of the cartridges, so... 
I'm not even gonna turn around and at the top of the ladder and go get it. I would also like to change my blood code and stuff, but last time I changed blood codes in one of these loading zones, it crashed the game, so I think I'll just wait. Now we'll be tackling Assassin next. And as soon as we have enough 212s, we'll just go ahead and grab the last uh, passive from Atlas. And back to home base again. I think we can knock out Cathedral Part 1 before we call it a day. Pretty sure we can. And then we'll grab a screenshot of us in the player memories. Alright, first things first, we'll talk to Davis, because he's here. Awesome. And then we'll talk to Mia. Groovy. And then we leave. Well, let's go ahead and get the gifts that we want. Steady bulwark. It takes two twelves. Alright, that's unfortunate. And I know this also needs two twelves. Unless I'm wrong? Yeah, it does. Alright, well, that's fine. Back to the cathedral. I think I want to max out the stuff from Assassin first. Because um, it has Stun Weapon, which will be incredibly useful against Arjun Wolf Berserker, the first. Get rid of the kitty cat perk, we don't need it. I'm just kind of throwing stuff on here without any real rhyme or reason. Uh, melee skill. Yeah. Yeah, that was everything I needed. Oh, we'll put blood on there for no real good reason at all. Okay. Let's get this party started. Assassin is not a great blood code. It has very, very poor I-Core. Really? Oh, and she punished hard. I think I might die. Okay. 
I'm not going to heal just yet, because we're going to be getting another regen booster just around the corner here. Yep, just right over here. Doink. We'll be right back. Alright, see ya. See ya soon, Death Killer. And that is a very dead fat lady. Well, 530 HP per heal isn't great, but it's better than base value. Okay, now, I have actually had a bit of experience fighting the enemies the inhibit enemies with a spear in the past. Uh, I'm starting to lose hope, though. Can't see what's happening. this. Ooh. Calculated. Out of stamina. Very bad. And very dead now. Well, that almost worked. But that was also pretty expected. I put up a better fight than usual, however. So I'm, 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 I'm proud of myself. I've had enough of you already. Just die. Oh. Jeez, the one handed sword. Cathedral chicks are so annoying. One handed sword bad girls are pretty awful, too. I just don't like them. I'm bad at fighting them. They always bait and switch me with their attacks. I'll grab the stinky cheese over here. Send that guy plummeting to his death. Song, second verse. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> Halberd Cathedral Chicks. I don't mind fighting these ones. 
They can be very annoying, yes, but... At least I can carry them, reliably. Thank you. We want the XP, so we're gonna kill this guy. Not like he's gonna give a lot, but every little bit counts, yeah. Too early. Two quick pokes will stagger her, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to use the Impaler. It does the balance damage that all the other halberds do, which is to say somewhere between greatsword and one-handed sword. But because those attacks come out so quick with the spears, that's just easy stagger town. Which is one of the reasons why it's so great in the uh, Tower of Trials. Alright, here we go again. Fantastic. Cool. And away we go. We are running in the nineties. Yeah, way too slow. Didn't I just get done saying I can parry them reliably? No, you're imagining things. Still not enough to kill her. Right. That treasure chest holds a bayonet, and it's a bad bayonet. At that. Rule Eye Piercer is so garbage. There are so many better bayonets with the same moveset. And the moveset itself isn't really that great. There's nothing to write home about. Pick this up. I could go get the vivifier that's on the other side of that door. Wait, I don't need a hammer. But I think I'll pass. We haven't needed one yet, so we probably won't. Not for a while, at least. Be gone, heretic. Cool. And this path is required. But at least it gives you two awake modules. Two awake, two twelves. I think those are the first ones I've picked up so far. No, no, no. There's another one that I picked up. Ooh, almost forgot to pull this. That's the reason why this path is required.
is there to go? That actually went kind of okay. We are a tad wounded, but nothing too serious. No, 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 no. Alright, well, it's going to take her half a millennia to come back around and fight us, so we can kill this one in the meantime. Hopefully. Yeah, it's dead. that drain attack. On the shield, go for a backstab. That's actually kind of tricky to do. If you hesitate, she will shield bash you while she blocks you. But if you can catch her while she's raising her shield or the moment it's like the split second it goes up, then you can... Uh, she'll just stand there and walk rather than follow up with any kind of attack. Hey, fantastic. I think that's all of the assassin stuff we needed. Come on, let me see. Yeah! Alright, well, cool. I believe that leaves Hermes and Artemis remaining. Um, we're still lacking in... What do you call it? We're still lacking as far as... Uh, words. Words are hard. We are still lacking um, something from... Uh, the, the... Okay, hang on a second. We still need Awake 212s to max out the stuff from Atlas. That's fine enough. Gotta love with those vacuum parries. Oh, yay. How thoughtful. Well, that's all the vestige cores for this section. There's two before Arjun Wolf Berserker, two afterwards, and then one in a cutscene right when you get to the boss of this area. And as I mentioned, in practically every challenge run, you don't need to repair them to get good or true ending. Just need to collect them. Yeah, that's a dead big mama. Didn't even have a chance. I'm going to buff up against this one, though, because she worries me. Alright, that's good. Whew. That had me a little bit nervous. 
I think we will just continue. That's uh, a camera for Davis that we probably won't give to him. We may give it to somebody else. I don't really know who, but... We can give it to somebody else. I am slightly nervous about the Hunter in Black. Down at the bottom here. Who is holding on to another region booster. Yeah, this guy. Fortunately, he also has a really poor stagger. Uh, really poor balance, so it's easy to stagger him. Two hits whenever he's not in the middle of some other animation. Like getting knocked down. We'll stagger him. Well, now that he's balanced, I'm going to go for a backstab. In an attempt to let that balance wear off. There we go. Dead and gone. Yeah! Ah, that's quite pleasing. Could have sworn that parry was going to land. But two quick stabs will stagger her, and I can move in for a backstab then. Or I could go for another two quick stabs, like in that situation. Uh, item! Yay. I really do wish they'd introduce uh, more multiplayer ranks. Because I've got so many marks of honor on my level one character. It's not even funny. And we got a pretty decent reward as well. Right. I, I don't know why, but a split second, uh, I thought I saw something over there. I was mistaken. But yeah, this is, uh, this is going pretty good. I've already made a cathedral, and it's only the first day. Get out of here. Yoink. Mini, mini queen steel is available here. Now, is this guy going to notice me? Or am I free? I don't think he noticed me. No, he did. Alright, well, let's better... Better get rid of him. Right. And we'll be heading over that way soon enough. We'll pick up the glow stick in preparation, well, to convince both of these guys to fight me. The dude hanging off the ledge over here won't climb up and attack unless you pick up the item. I don't know where that other guy comes from. He just magically appears when you go for it. We'll crack open the shortcut. You know what? He's right here. I'm going to go ahead and fight him. Did you know 
that the combo weak attack and uncharged heavy attack for uh, the Impaler are virtually identical, except the uncharged heavy, as you just saw, does not knock enemies down. However, it does have slightly longer reach. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, uncharged heavy, combo weak. They are both delayed thrusts, but the combo weak attack will knock enemies down, while the uncharged heavy just covers more ground. The Impaler is so versatile, I love it. Wait. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm sure it's fine. Send both of those guys plummeting to their doom. Oh wow, we still have a long way to go for uh, strength vitality up. You know what, I've got Sake and Brandy. I should go talk to Yakumo and get a, a, a fortified fortification chrome. Atlas chrome is what it's called. Yeah, I, want, I had no interest in letting her get away and be a nuisance. got hit in the face for that. Hello. I would buff up with Blow of Madness and Flashing Fang, but I'm worried that she's just going to raise her shield. Whenever I go for an attack, so it's just going to be wasted. By the way, that door leads to the path that I was previously talking about. The one where I said we'd be over there soon enough. And here we are. Alright, we'll zip up here and grab this steel and open up this pointless shortcut. It's pointless because, well, I'm about to get another short... I'm about to hit another checkpoint. And there's not very many dangerous enemies in between me and it. I've already cleared them all out. However, this Queen Steel is necessary for the Obliterator Axe we'll be getting soon. So, there's that. I still want a bit more experience, so we're going to go fight the guy who's guarding the Drain Activator over here. Drain Activators are terrible, terrible consumables. They're not worth the effort of using. They're so bad. They do not increase... The, they only increase the drain rating of a tax. So, stuff like... Uh, guard drain rating up. Or blood grab. Has no effect. The drain activator is worthless in that instance. Like, honestly, you could use the gift accelerator consumable and probably do better. You could use any number of cartridges. Like, there's... It's 
just not good. Assuming you only have time to apply one consumable. Stuff like a step booster or a mobility enhancer, both of those are good. Drain activator, not so much. I mean, if you wanted to go with, like, a crazy drain setup where you restore multiple I-Core with every single hit, then, yeah, a drain hammer with a drain activator and both drain active buffs as well as the drain passive, you could probably regain a lot of I-Core at once. However, that's all your build is going to be doing. That's it. That's way too many resources assigned to just regaining i -Core. I don't know, I might mess around with it. I've also been meaning to do a little bit of testing with not enough stats. I think, I think the elemental buffs you get for the not enough stats well, I, I, okay. The elemental buffs you get for using the spells are, uh, static. Like, they don't, they're not dependent on your stats. Rather than transforming a percentage of your weapon's damage into the given element, I think the math is... 30. No, it, it's 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 very complicated. I'm not gonna even try to describe it. It's weird, but I believe it'll be more damage than just a weapon with not enough stats. So it is something worth considering. Um, we will do blow of madness. And that's also why I did Foul Blood Barrier. Crank that, soldier boy. Okay. Hey, hey, where the monkeys? Get out of here. I do want this vivifier, however. This one, I am actually going to bother picking up. Big damages. Oh, she saw me. Alright, she's sprinting up at me. So I figured she would swing as immediately whenever she got into range. And again, despite me being a few steps back, she I, I had a feeling she was just going to immediately swing for me. And this one will always swing the moment you drop down. But whether she does a longer attack or a shorter attack is kind of random. I got lucky and predicted accordingly. I do not like you, though. You need to perish in a fire. She can't parry me, thankfully. But all of the sword and shield enemies are really annoying. Alright, stellar. 
we are just about ready to pick up a brand new Blood Veil. One that I'll probably be using for the better part of the run. be the Night Thorn, which is perhaps the most misleading name for a Blood Veil ever. It is not a Thorn-style Blood Veil. It is an Ivy-style Blood Veil. Why would they call it Night Thorn? I don't know. Maybe because they named the Thorn-style version of the same series Night Spear. As you can clearly see, we've got Claw. Thorn, and where'd it go? Spear. They all look like Count Dracula style blood veils. Big, big collars, black leather, red lining. Regular, regular Castlevania wardrobe going on. Or maybe even Bram Stoker Cheek. However you want to describe it. But that would still flash with my that would still clash with my beautiful floral overcoat, so that's a big negative. I am 100% about to get smacked here, so I'm going to buff up. Called it. But if we can drop her, we can hit her with... or not. I am made of disappointment. Uh, I'm so disappointed. Hello? Alright, backstabs are no longer allowed. That's fine. The Impaler is good at handling those tricks. Wildly disappointing. We're actually kind of ahead of schedule, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I was expecting us to reach Argent Wolf Berserker right around the four-hour mark. But, no, we're booking it. We are hauling a balls. Let's go ahead and get that in there. And since we have the Dexterity passive... We have no issues with stats. Alright, I think we're more or less set up for this guy. Let's buff up and hope for the best. Now, the Halberds are not nearly as good at... Oopsies. Wrong button. The halberds are not nearly as good as the one-handed swords for applying status effects, but it's not bad. They're still pretty quick. A suite of uh, status impalers, not a bad choice. Alright, that's fine. Carefully line up for the backstab. We have lost stun weapon, but I'm sure it's fine. Two hits. Wait. If the backstab doesn't land, immediately dodge. Because uh, he is going to be angry.
I don't think we're going to stun him again. But it would be nice. If you have a slow mobility, you'll need to dodge the first swing and then use Shifting Hollow for the second. That's got him. That's an Obliterator Axe in our pocket. How are we looking as far as materials? Ooh. Oh, that's quite nice. We are lacking a bit. I think we're going to have two Queen Steel shy from maxing out both the Impaler and the Obliterator Axe. But since we're rolling with Atlas right now, I think we want to use the Obliterator Axe. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and level it up now. I have a kitty cat on my lap. Let me see if I can have you hear her. Well, you, she's she's rubbing up against the mic. I can't... I don't know if you could hear her purring. But she was. Yeah. Did you have a good nap, little girl? Oh, those are those are claws in my leg. Don't try to bite me. I know you're happy to see me, but don't try to bite me. Ow, thank you for removing your claws from my leg, though. Oh, little girl, you got some fur all over you. Yeah, we're going to need to brush you again. I think I'll do that after the stream. Okay. Yeah, Meme Man was right, though. The uh, Obliterator Axe is a good idea. We'll go ahead and just get that powered up first. And as predicted, yeah, we're not going to have enough for the Impaler. Coco might have the remaining queen steel we need, but I'm not going to bet on it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, we can buy the remaining items, though. Yep, 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 yep. Well, we could go farming some of the... Uh, we could do a little bit of farming in this section. Uh, hey, welcome back again, me man. We could do a little bit of farming in the run up to Arjun Wolf Berserker in the hopes of finding another two Queen Steel. But I'm also pretty certain that we'll pick up Queen Steel in the player memories. Class is finally over, but the stream is almost done too. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, I can hang out for another 20 minutes or so. I'll, uh, I guess I will do a bit of farming. Just for, uh, you know, just a bit of, uh, post-boss chill. Yeah, I know you want to attack me, little girl, but I'd prefer if you didn't attack me. Yeah, I was thinking about heading into the player memories immediately, but the night the uh, cathedral chicks here have a higher likelihood of dropping queen steel. Oh, wow, that was way too early. Oh, I'm dead. She did not care. Darp, darp. Yeah, you got a fan. Me Man is happy to see you. What do you think about that little girl? Do you think? I know, I'm asking loaded questions. And she bit me. She's still biting me.
Yeah, you can only lay here for a little while. Tiny kitty girl. Because I am going to be getting up pretty soon. Ripperino. Yeah, I'm not too upset. I wasn't in a god awful place. My cat may be annoyed with me. I needed to clean out her food and water bowl. So she's having to eat out of uh, people dishes. Rather than her usual kitty bowls. And me, man, we were the ones that were talking about uh, uh, parry timing and stuff, right? That right there was an instance where the uh, Blood Veil actually has um, parry, f parry, parry frames start before the White Flash. So the graph that you showed me is slightly inaccurate. I'll do it again. Uh, or I'm just going to get hit in the face. She missed. Again, she missed. Alright, you're a little too crazy. Yeah, that doesn't work. Why did I try? Again, she's fallen up short. I'm trying to demonstrate something here. Thank you. Hey, just one more. We'll just keep running back and forth between these two checkpoints until we get the final queen steal. Don't care about monkeys. Don't care about any of that. Oh yeah. It shouldn't take too long. And then we'll have a plus six impaler and we'll have a plus six obliterator axe. You know what? We could swap it in, realistically. about as long as the parry window would have lasted, too. It's always hard to do it when you want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's always when I'm trying to demonstrate something. Uh, well, while I'm waiting for her to turn around, I can set up my what bar. Oi. Fight me IRL. That was another instance where the uh, parry happened before the white flash. Ah, oh, she didn't punish me. Thank you. And there we go. That's both the queen steel we needed. Uh, let's hang out and go ahead and max out the skill as well. We're practically almost done with that. And then we'll level up and, oh dear god, I made a terrible error. Yup. Yup, it's all going awful. I'm waiting for one of them to teleport. Because if one of them teleports, then I can... Backstab them. There we go. Well, that'll work well enough. That was a weird bit of lag. I must have dodged really early. Oh, well, thank you for the iron, I guess?
I should think about what I'm going to have for lunch. Hmm, I really have no idea. I'm feeling kind of lazy, so I might just make a sandwich or something. Do it again. so dead. No, we're fine. False alarm. Come on. How much more before I get strength vitality? Like, what, maybe three kills? Two if I'm lucky? Speaking of sandwiches... Hey, there we go. That's all I needed. Alright, cool. So, that leaves us with Hermes and Artemis remaining. For blood codes, we still need to... do stuff with. Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Uh, we'll start with Hermes, because Hermes is actually pretty okay. A turkey brie sandwich? No, I haven't. I am a fan of turkey sandwiches, but putting brie on a turkey sandwich? Heresy. I am intrigued, though. But it's still heresy. If my pastor found out about it, I would be excommunicated. Slap that on there, or something like this. I don't know what I'm doing. Looks good. You know what? I'd rather not go through all of that again, so we're going to save. I am intrigued, though. I, I, I'm usually not a fan of really, really soft cheese, but if you recommend that turkey and brie is good together, let me try it out. There is a uh, hoity-toity organic super pretentious grocery store nearby where I live. And they probably have really good brie. It'll be expensive, but... I... I make no... exception when it comes to food. Eating out's a bit different, but... spending a little extra money on groceries? That's perfectly fine. <laughs> it's excommunication worth a turkey brie sandwich, man. I believe it. I'm starting to believe you now. Be gone, foul temptress. No. No, I must not be swayed to follow the path of the turkey and brie. But it just sounds so good. Mmm. You tempt me, meme devil. Yep. Oh yeah, I, I kind of forgot what I named this character. Her name is Ruth. Code name? Grampire. Because she's like a granny vampire. It, okay, it's not my best ideas, but whatever. Come to the dark side. 
Mm. Now, is there anything else on the sandwich, or is it just turkey and brie? Because perhaps some honey Dijon might also complement it. Oh! That's a crash. That's a crash. Hey, welcome back again, Death Killer. Oh no. Uh dude, shoot him an email. Be like, hey, I still don't get this. And I feel like I was overlooked in class. That is purely an American tradition. Speaking up when you don't understand something. Or just speaking up in general. As the saying goes, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. I wouldn't recommend that you request grease, but, you know. I mentioned briefly that my mother is a teacher, and she's having to learn how to do a whole bunch of stuff with online classes. And she's been feeling a little bit overwhelmed, so I can kind of understand if the teacher is just scrambling to the, do their best. So just a simple email would probably help out. For Algebra 2? Uh. Ooh, and you've got a test tomorrow. Oh no. I'll, I'm, I'm sure you'll do fine. I've got confidence in you, Death Killer. You can do it, man. But yeah, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. So, I'll go ahead and wish you luck now. I was smart to save, because now I don't have to set up Hermes again. I can just race straight into this player memories. There are teacher's assistant. They were just sitting there. Oh, that's messed up. Khan Academy. Ooh, oh yeah. Consists only of turkey, brie, and bread? Hmm. 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 Is it... Is it... Like, one of those things where it hijacks your brain into tasting really, really, really good, like ketchup and eggs? Growing up, I thought ketchup and eggs was just the grossest thing ever. Uh, it wasn't until I reached adulthood that I actually gave it a shot. And it is good. It is good because it hijacks your brain. It, it is... They, they don't necessarily smell good together, but the taste combination is quite good. And depending on how it's prepared, they may not look very appetizing either. But, uh... There are these weird berries that also do something similar to your taste receptors. Like, it turns vinegar into tasting sweet? It's very, very strange. I can't remember the name of the uh, berry. But, like... Pickles become like sweet cucumbers. It's all it's all very very interesting. I'd have to look it up. The way tastes are interpreted, and how different things blended together can taste better than the singular parts.
Okay, once again, we'll hit the cutscene and pray. Pray that it doesn't crash. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, we'll try to look it up. It was uh, covered in an episode of SciShow a couple of years ago. It's uh, a daily science YouTube channel that I do thoroughly enjoy. They've expanded into more niche areas of science, like astronomy and uh, psychology. And then they have just the general science show that they do every day. They're usually short uploads, like 5-10 minutes or so. Uh, that's right. I need to get a thumbnail ready for next time. And I've got an idea for one. Ooh, it's not inverted. I'm weird like that. I play with inverted controls. There we go. Now that's a thumbnail. That is a very, very nice thumbnail indeed. Oh, dear God. Oh, YouTube. What are you... OBS, what are you doing? Calm down there, fella. Are we good? We good now, YouTube? I think we're good. OBS was having having a hard time there. But I believe this is a pretty decent thumbnail for next time. It's right at the four hour mark too. Ah yeah, here we go. Thanks, me man. Sin since uh Pelum Dulcificum is a plant known for its berry that, when eaten, causes sour foods such as lemons and limes subsequently consumed to taste sweet. The, is the effect is due to miraculin. Indeed! I know I wasn't imagining things. It's real! Um, I have no expensive how- I have no idea how expensive those berries are or how you would get your hand on them, but... Yeah, tastes are weird. The- the sensation of taste is a very strange one indeed. Right, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Good luck with your test to death killer. And I hope everyone else has a wonderful rest of the day. Au revoir!